Um, well, I'm going to cover some information, just some basic information on staging soybeans. Um, staging soybeans is a useful tool. Um, I think most everyone who works with producers or who scouts their own fields needs to know how to stage beans. Uh, we time insecticides, fungicides, and sometimes herbicides by growth stage of soybeans. And so knowing what stage your field in, um, you know, is certainly very important. Um, soybeans grow vegetatively. They also grow reproductively. Uh, vegetative growth is basically consists of the production of new leaves out of the growing point, which is the top of the plant. Uh, every three to four days, we get a new trifoliate um, on that main stem. Um, eventually, the plant will produce branches, um, and then it will also start flowering, uh, setting pods, um, and setting seed, and that's reproductive growth. Um, staging a young soybean plant is pretty easy, and um, I've got a poster here with a picture of a, just a kind of a basic young soybean plant. Uh, we have what's called a vegetative stage or a V stage, and the V stage or the V number just correlates to the number of trifoliates that you can see on the main stem of that plant. So in this particular um, picture, we've got one, two, three, four, uh, working on five trifoliate leaves, so this would be a V5 plant um, example. Um, when plants get a little bit older, like this one here, um, Oftentimes the lower leaves have fallen off the plant and you don't necessarily see um, the unifoliates at the bottom or even sometimes those first trifoliates have fallen off. So what you'll see are little scars on that stem where those leaves used to be. That's where the unifoliate leaves were at one time. And then this was where our trifoliate was. We have a branch coming out now, but that's where we would start our trifoliate count on an older uh, soybean stem. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth one, this very small leaflet at the top, the, the leaves are pretty close to being unrolled and not touching, so we could count that one as well, so that would be thirteen. So that would be a V13 plant. Um, the other thing to keep in mind when you're staging vegetative growth um, on soybeans is the number of nodes because we do use node counts to signify how mature a plant is. Uh, basically a node is where the leaf attaches to the stem and our first node is actually at the very bottom here where these unifoliate leaves uh, first came out uh, on that soybean plant. That would be your first node and you would count each um, area on that stem where the leaves have been attached. So if you've already counted your trifoliates, add one and that will be the node count for those, um, for those plants. And we use nodes or node number again to, to kind of tell us how far along the bean plant is. Um, soybeans can produce as many as 22 nodes. Um, this one, for example, has 13, about 13 nodes. Um, but in years where we have maybe um, shorter season uh, beans because we're planting a little bit later, we don't have as long a window for maturity, um, you know, we can have probably 15, 16, 17 nodes total. So this one's getting pretty close to being finished as far as the, uh, the number of nodes that it's going to put on uh, before it stops growing. Um, the next type of growth that uh, a soybean plant uh, will produce is reproductive growth, and that includes the production of flowers, uh, pods, and then eventually the development of seed in those pods. Um, there are specific reproductive stages that are designated by an R and a number, and these are standardized across all soybean varieties and all maturity groups so that if we use that definition um, and we know that R1, for example, is the beginning of flowering where you can walk out into a field and at least 50% of the plants have one flower on the main stem. Um, you can basically take these, you know, these definitions of the reproductive stages, walk out into any field in the state of Tennessee and stage that field. You don't have to know what variety it is. You don't have to know what maturity group it is because it's a consistent um, defined term uh, for a specific reproductive stage. Um, R1, again, you have one flower uh, on, the, on the main stem on at least 50% of the plants. Um, R2 is called full flowering, um, and that is the production of flowers on the top two nodes of the plant. 
So if you were looking at the top part of that plant and these are a little bit older and we can indeed see flowers um, in, on both the top two nodes. Um, and so this one is at R2. Um, once a little more time has passed, we're at R3. And for the next four stages where we're looking at pod length and seed development, um, you know, we are looking at specifically the top four nodes on the soybean plant. We're sort of um, almost ignoring everything going on at the bottom. We're just focusing on those top four nodes and seeing what's going on there. So uh, R3, um, we're able to find very small, about a quarter inch pods on at least one of the top four nodes on that plant. Um, this particular bean is a little bit, uh, has not quite there yet. Um, um, but we will have pods very soon. R4 is pod elongation or full pod and we're basically again looking at those top four nodes and we're able to find a pod that's about a three-quarter inch long size um, um, or, or longer. Um, R5 and R6 have to do with seed development. Um, R5 is again looking at those top four nodes on the plant. You're finding a pod with small seed shapes. They're visible through that pod wall. Um, and if you can find one on the top four nodes, then that's considered R5. R6 is full seed. Those seed have grown. Looking on, again, those top four nodes, uh, looking at a pod um, or more than one pod with seed that are touching, um, you know, inside that pod wall. So that's considered R6. R6 is at, at kind of the point where we tend to uh, terminate irrigation because the plant is kind of um, has done about all it's going to do as far as putting um, nutrients and things into that seed. So it's time to shut the irrigation off. Um, uh, then I'll, we will go through maturity where pods will start to change color. R7 and R8, you've got a plant um, that's primarily brown with brown pods almost ready for harvest.